uh, we've had amazing results and everything from ocular nerve damage due to MS, um, clearing like vision improvement within two hours, uh, decreases in blood pressure, thyroid medications, pain, inflammation, issues with diseased cells in the body that those numbers are, are diminishing every time they go back for their checkup, which is amazing. It's so many different things from a physical level to an emotional level. Um, and I think, you know, even, even a conscious level, people are actually um, just feeling better. They feel safer. They're, they're connecting spiritually better. People coming in and saying they're clearing emotional stuff. Um, and a lot of times that is the root problem for that person that's causing them to be ill or not feel good or whatever. So that's clearing. Hello, everybody. We are back for another interview in one of the first ever Unified Healing Affiliated Centers before everything just exploded all around the world. Today, we have Jen Urban from Swanton, Ohio, who has a 24-unit system, overnight option included, and a whole lot of amazing testimonials to share with us today. So first and foremost, Jen, I want to say thank you so much for being here and you know choosing to make the move that you made to be a part of this whole thing and open yourself up. Absolutely. Thank you, Jason, for having me on today. I appreciate it. Now, everything that you're doing has it's been amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It's really, I mean, there, there's a collective effort that's going on here. Where Absolutely. Everybody needs to step up to make it happen. Everybody has their piece of the puzzle. You know, so yes. we're all driving and passengers at the same time. It's an interesting thing that's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So your center is called Urban Retreat Ministry Land and Soul. Again, in Swanton, Ohio. I'm going to put all the information of your center in the description below so people can check it out. But I want to hear more about what you're doing. I want to hear more about what you're seeing in your center. I know you've been around before Unified Healing even started, and then you upgraded ever since, and, you know, a lot of action happened. But if you could share from your, you know, your own experience and your own perspective, what's happened ever since, what are you seeing, what common themes are you seeing with people, and so on and so forth. Sure. So, yeah, we started with the eight unit. And it was very divinely led. This is absolutely something that God um, brought me into. And I believe he started it over 23 years ago when he put Urban Retreat in my head and just kind of dangled it there through the years. Um, when Dr. Michael's information crossed my path, um, which again, I believe was divine guidance, um, it just totally resonated with me. I'd already been doing some frequency healing um, and other modalities. and something sparked caused me to do my research and go um, visit a facility to experience it at which point I already knew I was going to be doing this I'd already been talking to God about it he said yes Jen this is it this is the this is the retreat and um he said go for it so so you did um it. yeah so we started with the eight unit um in my home and so I had a whole whole room that was dedicated to that. And um, once you did your first interview with Dr. Michael, we started getting phone calls and emails and it was like, where's this all coming from? And within 10 minutes, Dr. Michael sent me a text and said, you need to watch this. And it was you just talking about the interview. It hadn't been released yet. So that was pretty amazing. Um, we had people coming from Chicago and eventually um, I had probably a dozen states coming in to see what we're doing here and experiencing it, um, as well as Canada, calls from Costa Rica and all over the place. So it really was a huge, huge um, piece of information that people were looking for. Um, with the eight units, uh, we've had amazing results and everything from ocular nerve damage due to MS, um, clearing like vision improvement within two hours. I have, to this just, I have to say one thing here just to make something really clear. I want everybody that's listening to this, no matter where you're at, to understand that what's being shared here is simply Jen's observations. There are no medical claims being made here. Absolutely. It's just a testimonial, an experience, an observation being shared. And 
everybody is is completely on their own path and what you choose to do with what you hear over here. So I just want to put that out there. Absolutely. And, abs and, and I tell I tell people the same thing. Everybody's experience is going to be completely different. But we've seen multiple um, improvements with vision, even recorded by um, doctors that are doing eye exams. Um, we've seen everything from uh, decreases in blood pressure, thyroid medications, pain, inflammation, um, other um, issues with diseased cells in the body that those numbers are, are diminishing every time they go back for their checkup, which is amazing. Um, we have people who have had severe anxiety that are coming back and saying, I don't have anxiety anymore. Um, I'm not triggered as much anymore. My husband's not as angry. So it's, it's, it's so many different things from a physical level to an emotional level. Um, and I think, you know, even, even a conscious level that people are actually um, just feeling better. They feel safer. They're, they're connecting spiritually better. It's been, there's nothing more beautiful than opening the door and seeing a room full of complete strangers sleeping and coming here for, for the same purpose. And it's just to heal. It literally feels like family. So it's been beautiful. And that is um, with our retreat, it, is, it does operate as a healing ministry. And um, it's, it's a place to come and heal. So it's very homey. I want people to come in and feel at home, be able to kick their shoes off and stay for a while and right. come in and relax. And that's exactly the feedback we get. They love it. Um, and the results have been phenomenal. Jen, can I ask you any any themes, common you know commonalities that you've seen across the board? A lot of people always ask me, and I like asking this to center owners as well. So if people watch multiple interviews, they may see a lot of the commonalities between them. How long are you seeing people sit in there before experiencing something? And again, everybody's different, but mm -hmm. are you seeing more in overnights versus somebody coming for two or three hours during the day? What are you, what are you seeing exactly? Okay. So that's a good question. Again, the first um, year or so I was in with the eight units mm -hmm. and we were having great results there anywhere from two hours to um, several visits, people would start to notice things. Um, many would feel it on their first visit, visit and others would say, oh, I don't feel anything. But then they call me and say, oh, my gosh, I'm having all these emotional releases. Um, and I tell my people, my members, I try to guide them on what to expect. I mean, you could have physical detox, which could possibly present as, you know, dizziness or a headache or, you know, an upset stomach. Not ever. You know, I don't want to put that as an expectation, but just to be aware that they could have an emotional release or they could have a trauma release. And I always tell them, if you do, it's okay. You're safe. Remember you're safe and it'll never be as bad as it was. You know, it's just a memory, but this is your cue to acknowledge it, thank it and let it go. So I, I'm, I'm constantly encouraging people the level of power and authority that we have as children of God, we can heal ourselves. So we need to be reminded of that. And I let them know your, your intentions are a big part of this healing. So just recognize things and let it go. But this system is going to help to bring things to the surface so that you can let them go and, they, and then you can heal. hundred percent. Yeah. 100%. I see, I see, um, and I drive this point home all the time. There are a lot of people that, you know, having the conversation with or about, I should say, med beds. I think people are under this assumption for whatever reason. I, I think it's, you know, also a theme that's been happening for a very, very long time. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's looking for a messiah outside of themselves, you know, some some savior, whether it's a form of technology, whether it's a person, whatever it is. And all in all, we're really going to get to the point where we need to collectively understand that's not how it works, you know, and if you're going to eat yep. McDonald's and drink Coca-Cola and do all this garbage all the time, and then just think that you're going to walk into this room, sit there and, you know, everything's going to be okay. It's not, you know, and, and I want right. to be super, super transparent and, and emphasize that 
that that's not how anything works. And even if you went into the room and everything was okay, it's temporary, unless you were to do the things outside. So what would you recommend? Do you recommend certain things for the people that come in to your center to experience what they're experiencing? How do they move on with their lives to make sure that these you know things don't continuously repeat and these cycles don't repeat? So I, I, I do a, a, like a five minute introduction when they get there and I talk about their power and authority. I remind them, you know, that who they are as a child of God, we have all of this and many people have never been taught it or if we've forgotten or whatever. So we're in a time now where we need to remember who we are and how powerful we are and that you have all the power to heal yourself. And the system is the energy that your body needs to self-correct. So together with your intentions and the system, it's very, very powerful. So I, I always encourage them to do the salt baths to help to detox. And I always encourage them to come hydrated, drink plenty of water. And then um, I do talk to them about we just, what we just said. As, as things come to the surface, remember, you're safe. If you're having an emotional release, let it out. Recognize it. Acknowledge it thank it for whatever purpose it had. And then I don't tell them to ask it to leave. I tell them to tell it to leave, command it out. This is the temple that they've been trying to destroy. That's how I describe it. This is your temple. So the way I do it, I breathe in the Holy Spirit. I exhale everything that's not of the Holy Spirit or serving my, my highest good. And that's my way of sweeping out the temple, but trying to give them different ways to start identifying and releasing things yeah. by just saying it's time to go this no longer serves me so yeah. yeah and and when it comes to detox baths assault baths uh changing their diets things like that mm -hmm. i know that there are protocols there do you do anything in the center specifically or do you just have them do that when they go back home so we talk about you know that sort of thing you know Obviously, if you're going to leave here and you're going to drive through McDonald's on your way home, then you're you're kind of <laughs> reintroducing some of the things that we're clearing. So um, we will be offering now that we're in the 24 units, which has just been a few weeks. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing retreats and classes, all kinds of different classes. We're working on a massive detox. Um, and it's another part of the beautiful thing about who we all are and we all have this this piece and this part to share so I have members coming in who have been able to um, learn different things specifically for say parasite cleanse that there was a missing link and they figured out the missing link and they they do say that this system is part of that missing link with the parasites and bringing them out of hiding so we're working on um, putting together uh, a class to help people with the parasite cleanse and, um, you know, clearing all the pathways of the liver and the gallbladder and, and everything that needs to be cleared first. Um, we'll be doing uh, talks on hydroponics and permaculture and just a whole variety of things okay. to teach people how to start taking back control of their life and their food and growing some of their food and um, just living cleaner. You know, it might be too soon to tell, but do you see a difference with the 24 units since you upgraded? I do. I do. I was wow. a little nervous about, you know, the change. And I talked to Dr. Michael about what, what should I expect, you know, going from age 24. And she was very, it was nice because she said, um, the 24 unit tends to be softer and some people say smoother. And immediately that just reminded me of distilled water. <laughs> softer and smoother and that's really what we're experiencing um and people are having bigger i don't i won't say i don't want to use the term redox because that's not what i'm seeing i'm not seeing necessarily a bigger um detox response but faster results um and and more detox what i've learned I mean, the eight unit activated the kidneys, this activates the kidneys even more. Um, so staying hydrate, and I said, you're flushing, you're, you're clearing. Um, but it also, what I've noticed, tends to activate the bowels more. So people are eliminating 
more, which is awesome because they're getting rid of all those toxins that have been sitting there for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it just helps to clear everything. Um, and then yes, um, healings, we've had a lot of emotional stuff, people coming in and saying they're clearing emotional stuff. Um, and a lot of times that is the root problem for that person that's causing them to be ill or not feel good or whatever. So that's clearing. These are all things. Another thing that we'd like to introduce is teaching people how to meditate. Yes. And in, in, in a way that they are taking control and releasing the things that need to, to be released. So there's, your, there's just a lot. Your, your center is, you know, it's called the urban retreat ministry. Do you do longer form retreats there? Or is it something you go and you leave? How does that work? We will be offering, um, we're still developing. It's probably going to look like a, like a two day retreat with an overnight. Um, no. It's not scheduled yet, but we'll be, we'll do, do one hour sessions on energy healing. What can you do at home? Um, there are different things I've learned through different people. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say names here, but um, different techniques that, that can help people to bring their energy up when they're there, when they're at home. Gotcha. Um, we'll be talking about nutrition. We'll be talking about um detoxing and just all kinds of different things, little pieces that they can actually take home with them and do to continue the, their healing process in between coming back for their sessions. I love here. it. I love it. You know, Jen, I remember when, when you and I first spoke, we spoke, you were one of the first, you know, maybe even five or seven centers on the network. And yes. it, it was really, which, and I emphasize that because there was more of a leap of faith that had to be taken back then than now, because now, you know, we have what we have, people see it and the results are there. But before it's like, do you have faith that we can provide what we're saying we can provide and really make sure that everybody knows about this and trust us with the fact that when I say us, I'm talking about the unified organization and the EES to do the right thing, to make sure that moving forward, with uncertainty, we're going to figure this out and get to exactly where we need to go. And you were one of the first people that put that full faith, you know, in me, yeah. the organization and said, this is scary, but I'm going to do it. I remember, I remember exactly what you said. And you're like, I don't know, but I'm going to do it. Something's telling me to do it. So I'm going to do it. I, I listen, I go to God who is the only author of truth in everything. And that's how I've lived, especially the last three years is seeking, you'll find, asking, you'll receive, knocking the door will be open. The truth will set you free. He leads me and guides me and I ask. So I listen when he tells me. Um, and it's absolutely been um, the right decision. Right. And I've, you know, it's been a joy to see many people come through that are actually opening centers now of their own. So they've come to my little retreat center in my, in my home and they've, they've experienced it. And now they're setting centers up, which is awesome. That's that spark. We're talking about helping each other. I've talked to as many as I can, obviously, sometimes we don't have time to connect with everybody, but we try and, um, I encourage them. I have a lot of people asking me about unified. I said, yes, I definitely feel like it's, it's, um, been helpful for us. And I love the vision. Um, and of course, you're a huge part of the explosion that's happening. So thank you. Um, I do feel like this is the precursor to the global healing that we are witnessing. I, I, I don't just feel I like I, I, I know in my heart, because right? it, and it's a feeling, but it's like a knowingness that as big as it's gotten in a short period of time, it's really only been seven months. I know. And and it's really like we've only just begun. And I'll, I'll share a quick little story that's that two seconds. I've always had this dream ever since I was really young. I'm like, I, I want to be able to to you know speak in a stadium and and help people because one-on-one -on -one never did it for me. I, I wanted to to go in volume. And I watched a Kevin Hart movie once. He's a very funny comedian. And I see these guys on tour selling out stadiums of 25,000 people day after day after day all around the world. And it hit me and I'm like, well, wait a second. If this guy could tell jokes 
mm -hmm. sell millions all around the world and speak to millions all around the world, then why can't we do the same thing if we're helping people? If, if McDonald's or Subway or all the fast food chains can have tens of thousands of restaurants all around the world and give people things that make them sick, then why can't we do the same exact thing to help people heal? It's the same. It's already happening. It, you know, it's already been done only in ways that are more, you know, destructive for people. Now we're just coming in and making it constructive for people to help. So I do believe that, that this thing that we're doing over here will expand to the level in volume of yeah. a McDonald's or a Subway chain. I see only, that. Only for healing purposes and helping purposes. Because we got billions of people to to help here, you know. There, there's no shortage of people <laughs> that need help. Right. You know? That's right. I know. It's amazing. Um, and we are. This is. I, I encourage people this way too. We are all a spark of God. Each one of us is a is a God spark, and it's like God's bringing His family back together. He's bringing His children back together, and together, we're going to move mountains. And we already are, I think, on some levels, starting to um, everybody sharing their spark, their piece of the spark. I've met so many people through this um, that have different pieces of the puzzle, and we just sell, we share information, and we connect, and we're growing um, on what we can offer, and that's part of the people helping people part of what I want to do. I'm bringing in somebody who developed. Um, hydroponic system teach a class and teach people how to do this and then sell your stuff and you know it's 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 all toward the, the greater good as far as helping people to take back their power and authority yep stop giving it away and 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 creating the heaven on earth that you know we deserve 100 percent jen it's it's awesome to be able to you know be a part of this with you and see from the beginning how the whole thing grew and again i think it's only going to continue and i look forward to seeing it continue i want everybody that's watching this to go check out jen center if you're around the ohio area on unifiedhealing.com you'll be able to find that location many others as well but i'm actually going to share my screen to show everybody over here at your center specifically urban retreat ministry land and soul here's your address phone number email there will be a website soon as well that people will be able to check out there is an overnight option we just have to update this over here and it's a 24 unit system that was just upgraded recently obviously if you're not in the u.s if you're anywhere around the world there are many centers all around the place and it's people like jen that really made that possible that are helping fund this mission this initiative that's helping her center, every other center, and everybody that's coming to visit these centers. So make sure to check it out. You can find many, many others here based on where you are in the world. And again, all the information for Jenna Urban Center is in the description below. Check it out, spread the word. Remember, it starts with you, but we have to be walking billboards over here of a campaign that's going to change the world to let people know and have people ask the question, what is scalar technology? What is scalar energy? People don't know that. I mean, the other day I was at an event here in Miami, Florida in an EE room, and I asked everybody, raise your hand if you can explain what scalar energy is. And nobody could raise their hand, even though they were interested in there. If we wanna see the change, it's more than just going to the center. It's learning how these things work so you can teach your neighbor, so you can teach your friend. And just like there have been campaigns that have brainwashed and indoctrinated people to give their power away, there can be campaigns that really teach us the things that we need to know and bring us back to ourselves because that's where the power of healing actually resides. So make sure to check out Jen Center. Again, all of that information is in the description below. You can call, email, go to the website if it's up and running as well. And if you are anywhere else around the world, go to unifiedhealing.com, find a location near you, and let's continue expanding upon this initiative. So, Jen, you're awesome. Thank you. I look forward to meeting you in person. I don't know when yet, but I'm going to March. be to a tour. 
Oh, yes. There we go. <laughs> but we're, we're going to have a great time. And I also want to come yeah. to the center and see awesome. everything. So I can't wait. Yeah. I'm pretty much going to be traveling for the, the rest of my life is what I've had to come to terms with. And uh, it's all good, right? Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Sometimes I like sleeping, but we're going to make it happen. <laughs> well, you can so, come here and you can sleep in here in, 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 in the system. <laughs> the, good thing, the good thing with these tours is we're, it's actually healing centers along the way. So yeah. it, it can help me charge as I keep moving forward. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Well, well thanks so great. much. Absolutely.